Hello and welcome to today's videos on how to configure folder redirection in Windows Server 2016. In this simple video, let's go through a step-by-step -step demonstration on how to configure folder redirection in Windows Server 2016. It's pretty simple and easy to configure. For this demonstration, I have a one OU named Azure Team and under Azure Team OU, we have a two user named Jason Roy and David Smith. Both users are members of our group Azure Users. First of all, we need to create a one shared folder for this demonstration to store the user's folder redirection data. So let's go back on our server manager. On our server manager, click on File and Storage Service. Click on Shares and let's create a new shared folder. Select New Share. Select SMB Shack, Quick Profile. Click on Next. Select Type a Custom Path. Let's click on Browse to browse the path. On a D drive, already I created one folder named Folder Redirect. Select the folder and then click on Next. Now this will be the share name of our folder and let's put a dollar symbol at the end of that folder to make this share folder invisible. Click on Next and select Access Space Enumeration for better security. Click on Next. Now as you can see the share level permission is uh, Everyone have a full control. Let's customize the NTFS permission by clicking on customize permissions. First of all, I'm going to disable the inheritance because we want to remove these two users entry. Because all users in a domain is a part of our domain users groups and that we want to remove. Let's click on disable inheritance. Select convert inheritor permission into explicit permission on this object. And now let's remove both users entry. Now let's click on add. Select the principal. Let's specify the our group name that is HR users. Click on check name and click on OK. Give permission allowed, but this permission applies only to this folder. Click on show advanced permission and here, as you can see, Travis folder, list folder and read data, read attributes and read extended attributes box are selected. Let's select create folders and append data. Click on OK. Click on apply. Click on OK. Click on next and click on create to create the share folder. Now as you can see the share was successfully created. Click on close and this is the our share folder name, folder redirect and the dollar sign. Now in next step we need to create a group policy object and to do that just click on tools, select group policy management. This will open group policy management console, expand your forest, expand your domain and under your domain name here, this is the our OU name HR team and where we want to attach the folder redirection group GPO. Just right click on it and select create a GPO in this domain and link it here. Now let's specify the name of our group policy object and that is folder redirection GPO. Click on OK. Click on your newly created GPO. Select do not show this message again and click on OK. Just right click on it and select edit. This will open group policy management editor console. Folder redirection policies will be available under user configuration. So under user configuration, expand policies, expand windows settings and expand folder redirection. As you can see, there are multiple other folder redirection policies that we can configure apart from my document like desktop, pictures, music, videos, favorite, download, start menu and etc. But for this demonstration, we just want to redirect the document and that's why we just want to Select folder redirection on documents only. Right click on it and select property. Now as you can see the current setting is not configured. Here we have a total three options. First one is a basic redirect everyone's folder to a same location and the second one is advanced specify locations for various users group. For this demonstration we will go with basic redirect everyone's folder to the same location. Now here under target folder location we have a four options redirect to users home directory Create a folder for each user under the root path, redirect to the following location and redirect to the local user profile location. For this demonstration, we'll select the default create a folder for each user under the root path. Now let's specify the shared folder path which we created earlier. In our case, the path will be labdc01 slash folder redirect and the dollar sign is there. Now suppose if your username is Claire, the folder will be redirect to UNC path lab this is 01 slash folder redirect dollar slash clear and slash documents. Now click on apply. This will gives you a one warning. 
If there are group policy settings related to folder redirection that do not apply to Windows 2000, 2000 Server, XP and Server 2003, you will not able to change any folder redirection settings in this group policy object from those operating system. Do you want to continue? Click on yes. Yes, we want to continue. Click on OK. Click on close to close this group policy management editor console. So now it's a time to test the result on our client computer. Before we go on our client computer, under redrive, under our folder, name folder redirect. Right now, we do not have any folder under this folder. Now, this is our Windows 10 computer. And on this Windows 10 computer, already I log in with our user named David Smith. First of all, I'm going to update the group policy by running the command gp update space slash force. Once you update the policy, it might ask to log off and then log in back to implement the group policy. Press Y to log off. Once you log into Windows 10 system by using our user credential of our user David Smith, let's open File Explorer. Okay, and as you can see, on documents we have a particular symbol. Double click on it and let's create a one uh, file under this documents. Sample file. This is a sample file. Click on close and click on save. Now as you can see the current state is online. Now let's come back on our Windows server and on a Windows server under D drive folder redirect folder as you can see we have a one folder named david.s. If we double click on it as you can see here we have a folder named documents and that means we just successfully configured and implement folder redirection policy on our user David Smith. Hope this uh, video will helpful for you for implementing a folder reduction policy in your environment. Thank you for watching this video.